In this corner, we have at 812 millimeters F4, the Mead SNA Schmidt Newtonian. And in this corner, coming in at 200 millimeters F2.8, the Canon L series 70 to 200 zoom telephoto. Let's get ready to rumble. Hey, how's it going? Wi-Fi guy here. Um, so we've had weeks of clouds. So I haven't been able to do much, but according to my phone, we're gonna have a few nights of clear skies. So I decided to start a project and the project I wanna do is I'm going to take a picture of the same target with both my telephoto lens and my telescope. The target that I want to try is the Eagle Nebula. Um, it's in the southern sky behind me here, uh, totally opposite from Cafe Rio, so hopefully I can get away from a lot of the light pollution that way. should be high enough in the sky to be just above my neighbor's trees, uh, be able to track it for a while till hits into his trees over that way. So what will this prove definitively, beyond a shadow of a doubt? Absolutely nothing. Why am I doing this? Because I feel like it. And what do I hope to accomplish with this? Oh, maybe get a couple of pretty new pictures, um, maybe learn something in the process. Anyway, let's do it. All right, let's get right into it. So, Sky Atlas, Eagle Nebula, set for framing assistant, eventually it will come up, all right, reframe, Image. Okay, add target sequence. Simple because I am simple. So we will try one hundred and twenty. Total subs. One hundred and twenty seconds. Park Mountain Park Meridian Flip Target Options. Slew to target. Center target. I usually use the rota manual rotator when I'm using my telescope, but I found with the telephoto lens, I can't move the camera at all. It hits the mount. So we'll just hit play and go. So now it'll slew in center. Plate solve, find the targets. All right, after two attempts, looks like we're on target. I can see the Eagle and the Swan Nebula there. We're taking our first 120 second sub. done. You can see quite a bit of nebulosity, both nebulas there in the frame. Guess we'll let her run. 
All right, now we've completed the telephoto portion of our program. We're gonna move on to the telescope portion. Uh, I was able to shoot, well, I ended up shooting two nights with the lens because the weatherman lied to me. Clouds moved in on the first night and when I first started, I got a lovely picture of the top of my shed. Um, I didn't feel like moving my telescope and realigning and everything, so I just let it run until I got past the, the shed. I got a while in until the clouds moved in, so then I just quit. So the next night, I moved that way and get a lot of data. I just let it run all night and, well, not all night. So I just let it run for a few hours. It was supposed to run till about 12.45. That's when I figured I'd start hitting the trees over there. But when I got up in the morning and started looking at my pictures, um, about 12.20, so I started getting some pretty pictures of my neighbor's roof. So I ended up getting about 120 shots. So about four hours worth of data. I uh, shot two minute ex exposures. So now we'll try the telescope. I'll try to get the same amount of data as far as four hours. I can only shoot 60 seconds on this. But I did take a tip from one of my subscribers. I uh, put my camera on the bottom. He said it would make it easier to balance and what do you know, he was right. Uh, I guess it has a lot to do with getting the camera more towards the center of the axis of the RA. So I balanced it, uh, recolumated it, ready to go tonight. So we'll continue onward. Later. All right, and now the moment we've all been waiting for, the pretty pictures. Before we go to look at them, why don't you just poke that like button, and anything else you want to do. So I'll talk to you later, and remember as always, clouds suck.